Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my uh, video. Um, basically, this is a tutorial on how to set up your um, flip up sights as well as your red dot sights for uh, zeroing, for basically getting the best accuracy that you can. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to make this video is um, due to what's happening in the news right now with the unfortunate shootings and, and the pending assault weapons ban, um, I've been seeing a lot of people that are new to rifles purchasing guns that probably have no idea really how to use them. <clears throat> so for, uh, for, for their sake, I wanted to make a video on what's the quickest way, uh, in my opinion, on how to zero um, all of your sights, both mechanical and um, electronic, uh, especially as uh, ammunition right now, especially for 5.56, which is what this gun shoots, is going for over uh, $1 a round, at least from what I've seen on various websites that sell ammunition. So that way you don't have to spend too many rounds just trying to get your gun uh, zeroed in, because if your gun is not zeroed in, then it's pretty much worthless. So this will be a two-part video. Um, first focusing on the flip up sights and then the second part of the video will be on the red dot sight and getting them actually co-witnessed and then actually going to the range for some real world shooting. Alright everybody, uh, welcome to the next section of the video. Um, I have a whiteboard here that's accompanied by my tactical cat. I'm not sure if you can see him because he's kind of washing at the moment. Alright, so um, once you get a basic understanding of how the front and rear uh, flip up sights or back up iron sights work, uh, the next thing that is very important is called the sight picture. <clears throat> and uh, basically, what this uh, view is, is a very basic and rudimentary view of what your eye will be seeing when you put the, you know, the gun up to your cheek and, and you put it up to your shoulder and you're getting ready to fire. Uh, this circle is basically the rear aperture, which we spoke about um, in a previous section of the video. Uh, the black column right here is actually the front sight post, which is of course at the front of your gun. And uh, the circle with the X through it is basically my uh, rendition of a target. Um, the purpose of this sight picture is to show you, um, you know, especially for a lot of people that are new to, to firearms, uh, they often think that you're supposed to put the target directly behind the front sight post. Um, however, since you're covering it with the front sight post, um, that's actually incorrect and you're going to be missing your target. Uh, the way that those uh, front sight post works is you're actually supposed to put the target uh, directly above the uh, front sight post and um, basically that, that is the way that your front sight picture or your, your sight picture is supposed to look like. Um, in regards to the, the tuning of, of the front and rear uh, uh, backup sights, um, there's a very popular acronym uh, that is known as FORS, F-O-R-S, front opposite rear same. We'll start with the rear, the rear meaning the rear sight. Um, I don't have a diagram for the rear sight because the rear is pretty simple. As long as everything is lined up um, and you have basically your aperture lined up with a center um, uh, marker, the center tag, um, you should be, your, your windage, which is your left to right movement of, of your rounds, should be correct. Um, if for whatever reason it is not, uh, because rear is the same, let's say that your rounds uh, are shooting too far to the left, so you need to move them to the right. If you spin the uh, spindle on your rear sight to the right, that will bring the rounds to the right. Let's say that your ammunition is far, uh, firing too far to the right and you need to bring it to the left, simply spin the spindle the other way to the left and that will bring the ammunition to the left. So you want to go right, spin to the right, you want to go left, spin to the left. Now these, uh, this part of the diagram is dedicated towards the uh, front sight post. Uh, the front sight post is the one that is a little bit counterintuitive. Um, a little bit illogical and it's the one that a lot of experienced shooters get a little bit hung up on and confused on. Um, in this particular instance, the red um, X's indicate shots that you have fired, but of course they have missed. Uh, the circles are, for example, um, you know, steel targets at 100 yards, for example. Um, so basically, if you're firing high, obviously you need to adjust to bring um, the gun lower in order to start hitting uh, in, in order to start hitting your targets. Now what you want to do uh, is you kind of want to chase where your rounds landed. And when I mean chase, I mean move the front sight post with the tool that I showed you about earlier. Move it up or down in order to chase where your missed rounds went. So the logic behind that is, is if you're shooting too high, you actually want to physically adjust your front sight post up to almost meet where your miss rounds were going. Now, the reason behind this is because, let's say that my hand is the front sight post, okay? 
and you're firing too high. Even though your, your sight picture looks like this, your rounds will still, typically when you first get your gun, the rounds will still typically be off the target. So in this particular instance, we fired three shots and they're all going high. Okay, so what you need to do is you basically get your tool, okay, and you move the front sight post physically up. Spin it so that the front um, sight post physically goes up. So what will happen is instead of looking like this, like let's say this is the top of the front sight post, when you were missing it was like this. So what you do is you adjust to bring the front sight post up, okay? And what that will do is it will look like it will basically cover the target. So of course you can't fire like that because again your, your, your sight picture is supposed to be like this. So since you're covering the target, okay, and basically now I'm where the red X's are because like I said you're chasing your missed shots. What will that force you to do? You move your front sight post up, it's covering the target, you can't do that. It will physically force you to move the barrel back down, okay? And of course, bringing the barrel back down, you're gonna start hitting the target. Just remember that the front sight post or, or any kind of aiming mechanism does not dictate where or what the barrel will do until it's zero. So a lot of people think that basically the front sight post is where the barrel is moving, but if it's not correctly zeroed in, then it, they, they can't be uh, you know, co-witnessed or aligned and, and it's not actually accurate. So again, if you're shooting high, move your front sight post up, that will force you to bring the barrel down and your shots will start hitting that target. Um, and the same goes for, for the rear part of it. Let's say you're shooting low. These red X's, of course, are your missed shots. You're shooting low. Um, so basically what you need to do is you have to move your front sight post further down. Again, you're chasing where your missed shots were. Okay, So you're moving your front sight post down. And of course, that will create a lot of extra space between the top of the uh, front sight post and the target. So in order to, to, to eat up that space, like again, this is my front sight post, what you're going to do is after you bring the front sight post down, you're, it'll actually make you bring the barrel back up. And of course that will hit the target. And uh, basically that's how you manipulate the front and rear sight posts. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here is um, the first part of the backup sights um, system. And of course we'll start with the rear. Uh, for the most part of my experience, um, dialing in the rear when you're out at the range was quite simple. Um, I believe that the logic behind that is if the gun is built correctly and everything is lined up, like the upper receiver is lined up with the, uh, with the rail um, during installation, um, as long as you basically align this, this part, which actually moves to the left or right using this spindle over here, as long as the center line is lined up with the center <clears throat> um, hash mark, um, as far as your windage is concerned, which is the left to right part of your shots, everything should be lined up and um, you should be hitting the target or at least, um, you know, in a left to right area, you should be lined up with the target. So for the most part, the the, the rear section, at least in my in my experience, was actually quite easy um, to dial in, and it's pretty much um, a no brainer. Um, I do want to go into a little bit about um, the, this particular product. Again, this is the Magpul uh, rear flip up sight. Um, basically, you, you hit the tags that are, or excuse me, the little um, levers that are on the side, and of course, it flips up. And this particular sight actually comes with two apertures. Um, right now it's, it's slotted for the longer distance aperture, which means that the hole um, in the center is a little bit smaller so that it, it allows you to focus more, more deeply um, on targets that are, are further away. And for low light conditions or for targets that are a little bit closer in, uh, basically you can flip the smaller aperture down and you'll notice that the hole is, is larger. And that is, again, to allow you to engage uh, targets targets that are, are a lot closer to you or if you're in a low light condition. Um, when I was last working on this rifle and sighting it in, the target was at 100 yards, so I opted to use the smaller um, aperture, which again made the hole smaller and allowed me to uh, get that, you know, start hitting the target more um, accurately and in a more timely fashion. That's it. And uh, so for the front part, this is the part that probably confuses a lot of people because um, it's a little bit counterintuitive. The front part, or the front part of the sight, is is in regards to elevation and and not windage. And I'm not sure if you can see it on on uh, on the camera, 
but uh, you can see here that there's an arrow pointing for a clockwise direction that says up. Now when I first got these sights from Magpul, um, the, the front sight post, which is, it's on a turntable, was actually recessed down. Um, I read from another YouTube uh, video maker that the first part of getting your elevation adjustment um, correct is that you need to basically bang, bring the, uh, the spindle <clears throat> flush with the rest of the, the front sight. And a lot of people will think this is counterintuitive because basically this goes in the op opposite direction of where you actually think it's going to be. Um, so actually when, you're, when you started to screw to the right where it goes up, the spindle will actually move down. So we'll talk about that in a second video, but basically this is a tool um, that Magpul provides that allows you to adjust for the elevation. Um, basically you just find the notches that are there and you rotate and right now we're going opposite and what, you, what this is going to show you is it gives you a reference point on where to bring the spindle up when you're trying to zero the rifle um, and I've found that if you bring it flush that will give you a good start and that way you don't have to use too much ammunition as you can see it's still a little bit recessed down so we'll turn it a little bit more and get it about a little bit more you can hear the snapping of the little teeth. Um, the teeth hold in the spindle so it doesn't move up or down once you've gotten your zero done. And it should be right about right about there. That's, that's pretty flush. And again, this is what I recommend for people that are using any kind of sights, not necessarily the Magpul sights, but any sights, is when you start working on your elevation, bring the spindle up flush, and then start shooting range, uh, rounds down range and uh, see, see where they land.